Hi, I'm Tom Ladd for the Ozarks Previews. We're here today at the photo shoot for the 35th annual Ozarks Basketball Preview. I have with me Magnificent 11 selection, Destiny Berge of the Carl Junction Bulldogs. And first off, Destiny, congratulations on this. Thank you. What does this mean to you and the uh, Carl Junction program? It means a lot because it shows that we actually put work towards our sports and don't just sit around all day. It's uh, a lot of the uh, great basketball players from that area involved in this year in and year out. And for you to be named uh, one of those, that probably means a lot. Yeah, it does because it shows that I actually put the work in and care about my team and want to be successful with them. Tell me a little bit about Carl Junction this year. Uh, what do you got coming back? Uh, how good you guys going to be? Well, we only lost one senior, but Jessa Hilton, she tore ACL in volleyball this year. So we'll have to shift around, figure things out, but I think we'll be fine. Next person up uh, mentality there? Yep. Um, I hope Kylie Scott steps in because her, like, her sister was good, but I guess we'll have to find out. I know uh, I'd asked you uh, before we started filming uh, about your last name and your family uh, tradition. You've got uh, a couple uh, family members that have done real well in basketball. Talk about that. Yeah, they're real. They're a big support in my basketball career, and they pushed me to be better than them because they were obviously good, but they want me to be more successful, and it's just it helps me a lot. A sister that played college ball, brother that played college ball. Uh, talk a little bit about their careers. Well, my brother went to S and T, and my sister went to MSSU, and then she transferred to UTRG for, UTRGV for a year, and played for Lance Lord. And they were successful, but she, Desiree went for track because, I mean, she went to the Olympic trials, and so she was successful there. What uh, what kind of uh, games do you guys have then at the uh, family house? Uh, I'd imagine some of the scrimmages are pretty fun. Yeah, they are, and they're competitive, which makes it a lot more fun, and it helps me be better because it pushes me to do other things because Desmond's six five. That uh, that makes it tough, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you had a uh, great season last year, All-State, All-District, and All-COC. Also uh, named to uh, three different tournament uh, teams last year. So sophomore year, great season, but you expect more this year? Yes, I do. I hope to hopefully score a little more, have more assists, more rebounds, just help my team as much as I can. You put up a lot of numbers last year. I mean, uh, you, you expect to even score more this year, huh? Yeah, hopefully. What you do during the off season? Uh, do you play uh, a lot of summer ball, and, and what team do you play on? Well, last year I played for Team Tulsa. It's based out of Oklahoma. And then for off season, I play volleyball for high school. Yeah, and we traveled a lot this summer for basketball. Brad Shorter, your head coach, he's kind of a legend uh, <laughs> in the area. Talk a little bit about him and what he's meant to you. He means a lot because he's coached me since I was little. He was like my first basketball coach with my dad, and he pushes me to be the best, and he doesn't expect any less. He's uh, he's had a lot of success as a coach, and I'm sure that makes you feel good that you're uh, spending time with somebody as legendary as him, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, last year you guys uh, made it to the uh, quarterfinals of the state tournament. Uh, West Plains, man, they were tough last year. How do you see this year folding? Um, are you looking forward to getting back to the state tournament? Yeah, since we're more experienced and we have more work together, I hope that we'll advance further than we did and just work harder and better than we did last year. West Plains, obviously, with a pretty good player. And Ashton Judd, uh, you – is there somebody, a rival out there for you? I, I know they're a little bit further away, but uh, do you have somebody maybe in your area that you kind of consider a rival? Maybe Keanu Yates because she's, she's a really good player and she dribbles the ball very well and she gets her players involved. Now, we talked about your family. You've uh, got a couple siblings that are playing college athletics. Is that something you're looking forward to? And have you already started getting some uh, attention from colleges? Yeah, I have an offer from the school Desiree went to in Texas. And then I'm going on a visit, visit in Jury at November 5th, and then I've been talking to Pitt. So uh, D2 and then in Texas, too, uh, some really good D2 basketball programs. Um, do you see yourself, uh, what position at college? 
Hopefully a guard. Point or shooting? Hopefully shooting. <laughs> I don't know. I like dribbling the ball, but I like shooting it and, like, moving it more. And do you go uh, – do you support a lot of the, the area college teams? Or do you kind of go watch and see where you would fit in at this time? Yeah, especially when Desiree was in college. I went to her games, and it looks tough. Tell me again, the Bulldogs this season, I know you had some injuries, graduation, but uh, talk a little bit about what you expect, maybe a little bit about the COC this year and who you are the who are the big rivals. Webb is a big rival. We look forward to playing them all season, and we meet. hopefully we'll meet them in districts, the championship, and then hopefully we'll beat them and go forward. But I hope people just step up and do their jobs and don't do more than what they need to do so we can be successful. It's a great conference. And you're seeing uh, some teams that are getting a lot of attention statewide um, in the COC, maybe one of the best basketball conferences in the state. Yeah, it is tough. And especially when we play Nixas and Ozarks and Springfield schools, we just have to play harder and play our game and don't do more. A lot of size with those schools, um, but again, great tradition as well. Yeah, we only have Kylie that's really tall, and then we have a couple posts, but they're all about my height. Well, again, I want to congratulate you on this, the Magnificent 11 selection. Wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you. Again, that's uh, Destiny Berge from Carl Junction, the Bulldogs, part of our Magnificent 11, the 35th Annual Ozarks Basketball Preview. We're at the photo shoot for the 35th Annual Ozarks Basketball Preview, and I'm Tom Ladd.